This is a quick Fusion 360 lofting tip on a large scale RCF 16 jet model. One of our viewers stated that they were having trouble lofting around the canopy area of a model. And this can often be a troublesome spot. So here's my hack. In many cases, especially jets like this one, the canopy largely behaves like an additional appendage. And the best way to model a canopy and fuselage is to do them separately. So if you could imagine continuing the lines of your profiles in such a way so that the fuselage could be built without a canopy, this will help you to create a very smooth, uninterrupted service. Only then will I begin to use lofting forms for the canopy. In this model, you can see a longitudinal profile that I've created that intersects at each of the former's profiles. But if you notice, right around the center of the canopy, I've added an additional spline curve. This curve would not have been readily visible if you were either scanning or working from an image. Once I've added that curve, I've used the tangent constraints on that curve to make sure that it transitions smoothly, both in the front and the back. Now that I created this line, I go back and edit each of the former profiles. I add an additional curve at each of these formers and I use the project include intersection tool to define the point where that geometry of each former intersects the plane of the former I'm working on. Then I create a new spline and then again use the tangency lock to tie into the original shape of the former. Notice I'm also using a horizontal or vertical constraint at the ends. Now when I loft that fuselage, I can continue lofting straight through where that canopy would have been and I have a very clean rail that helps to define it. Now for the canopy. I use one additional spline, only this one I allow it to be generated in 3D. I ensure on my sketch palette that 3D geometry is enabled. I pick all the points along the path of all of these formers so that I can accurately decide where the spline will go. Project, include, enable 3D geometry. At the front and the end, then use a horizontal and vertical constraint on the spline here so that I can seamlessly terminate for its mirrored side later once that's complete. The canopy is now ready to loft. I can use the formers to loft and I can use a longitudinal section and the 3D spline for guide rails. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe or better yet, if you're just wondering what model I'm talking about, well, watch this next video where I'm pulling usable geometry from a low poly STL file to start this F-16 design project.